Do you need to provide backup solution for your Microsoft 365 environment? Learn how to set up AFI AI backup platform for your Office 365 tenant. Welcome in the second video on this channel, which will be focused on the Microsoft 365 backup provided with the AFI AI solution. In today's video, I want to offer you work through how to configure AFI to support your Microsoft 365 platform and help you to backup specific data, specific components from your environment. And again, this is the video that is provided in the collaboration with AFI AI in the description in the video. And soon I will show you how to get four weeks free trial of this backup solution that could allow you to test it, to play with it and to see if this will be the platform that will fit into your expectations or maybe to your business needs. And before we will move forward, I want to share with you that this video is brought to you thanks to the AFI AI backup vendor that is proud partner of my blog office365adwork.com and supports this series of the videos that will help to share the knowledge about the backup process of the data in the Microsoft 365 that works for enterprise. And again, before we will move forward to set up and configure the AFI connected to your Microsoft 365 tenant, I will recommend you again to review and check what are your business requirements, what are your technical requirements about the backup that needs to be provided for your Office 365. Check with your business, check with your legal team what kind of solution you need and what are the reasons behind it. This will help you to select proper backup vendor, plus you will know what needs to be configured on the backup platform to secure that needs inside your organization. So now we will switch to my screen and I will show you how to take your Microsoft 365 tenant and interconnect it with the AFI AI backup solution and how to set up the first backup platform for your Microsoft 365 environment. And as always, if you will like this video, please leave the thumbs up. And if you want to support this channel, please subscribe. So let's switch to my screen. AFI AI, so partner of my blog, prepared four weeks trial, which you can use with full functionality of the backup platform for free without sharing credit card. The only thing you need to do is to scan the QR code from the screen and send the request for four weeks trial. To get access for the extended free trial license for the AFI backup platform for Microsoft 365, in the subject use Microsoft 365 at work plus add your email address to the form and send it to the AFI team. As a next step, you will be invited for the exclusive four weeks trial. And again, there's no commitment on your side visit office365adwork.com slash AFI or scan the QR code from the screen. So as soon as you will send the request to AFI AI, you will get the confirmation that your request is registered and in some time you will receive the detailed instruction how to get the access for the four weeks trial without any additional costs. We will log in right now to the AFI AI solution, interconnect it with the Office 365 platform and there you will be able to set up any additional steps with your trial setup. Open your browser and visit AFI AI website. This is the website that contains the AFI solution. You will also find additional details about the functionality, references and process. But what I want to recommend you is to interconnect it with your Microsoft 365 environment and then you can extend your trial license for the product. Use customer sign-in 
and in the first step select Microsoft 365 and this is also quite important step you can see that AFI AI allows you to backup not only Microsoft 365 but also Google Workspace it could be important if your organization using both in such a case you can use this platform to backup the data from both cloud-based collaboration solutions moreover you can standardize the backup backup process using AFI AI for both. In our case, we'll use Microsoft 365. So you sign in with Microsoft 365 and use your Microsoft 365 admin account to sign in. And this is also quite important step in the setup of the AFI AI backup solution. This application will require the permissions to the data and basic access to the profile to be sure that you will be able to backup the data using it. Of course, if you are testing it, you can use just basic profile without accessing the whole data of every users but on my tenant i will grant this access for the whole organization remember if this is something that requires revision by your security team do that first before you will accept that but because this application is accessing the data through the app model you can also manage that on the azure level on the administration level and remove that access at any time in this case accept it and we getting to the point where you are able to start to set up your Microsoft 365 instance in the AFI AI backup platform. And you will be again asked to select which cloud based solution you want to backup as a first data source. And in this case, you have very detailed information what kind of data will be accessed by AFI application on your Microsoft 365. And when you looking at it at the very beginning, it could be a little scary that the list is so long. But if you will think longer about it, you will see that this is beneficial. Why is that? Because all these access rights are required to back up very specific components of the Microsoft 365 and moreover restore the data later on based on the instances of the historical backup on the backup platform. You can review all that elements. It will require the data to OneDrive, SharePoint, Teams and Exchange. And probably these are the components that you would like to backup through the cloud-based backup solution. But again, if you have any doubts, review that first with your security team to be sure that you are good to go with that kind of approach. In the next step, you will decide where to store the data and what time zone for the backup solution should be applied. And this could be quite important for your organization if your backup policy requires to store the data outside of your current region. So I can imagine that if your organization is hosted in Europe, you could expect to store that data in the different region to be sure to secure the scenario of some kind of total disaster and then recovery business case. In my case, I'm in Europe, let's stay in Europe and also I will select my local time zone. Of course, it is also required to check the terms and use policies. Both documents are linked in here, plus you will find them on the AFI AI site. I could imagine that this is something that needs to be also reviewed by your legal team or if there's no need to get legal team approval, you can move forward. Now we need to give some time for AFI AI to set up the interconnection between our Microsoft 365 environment and backup platform. Reasons behind it is check what kind of services are used, what kind of data utilization we have there. And after some moment, you will get the very first basic report of the AFI AI solution. As soon as we will open AFI portal for our backup solution, now we need to configure our trial license. To do that, go for licensing. And in the first step, you can see that by design, you have access to the time limited trial license. Now I will show you how to extend it based on the request sent to the AFI AI support service. 
So first of all, click on subscription and add number of the licenses that you want to include. Like for test, you can imagine that 15 users, this is the volume of the workload that you want to use during your tests. You can also see possible cost estimation, which will be monthly for that specific workload in case you will decide for the full version of the solution and then go for the subscription. You will be asked also to set up the data in here and this is step required. Again, you don't sharing any credit cards in here, but you need to fill out this information then to pass your trial code inside the configuration. As soon as you will fill out that data, so two remarks here, remember about updating the name of your organization plus proper version of your tax ID for your specific country and save that data. Now I would ask you to go for the payment options and switch from pay by credit card to pay by invoice. Go back to subscription, modify it and using these three bots, here you have the space when you can insert the code that will extend your trial for the four weeks with full functionality. You will find the code in the email from the support service from AFI AI. Paste the code in here, add it, and now your subscription will be prepared for the free trial of the Office 365 backup solution for four weeks. On the top, you will also found how many users are already protected, what is your storage quote, and the subscription is active. So at this moment, our trial license is set up and we are good to go. In this video, I want to also show you a few elements that it's worth to consider as a very basic early configuration of the AFI backup solution that you should be aware of. So let's start with the configuration and here you have the possibility to set up very simple reporting about what's happening in the solution, what kind of processes are executed. You can get the daily, weekly or monthly reports and again you will need to clarify what kind of detailed reporting you will need based on your requirements. So first of all turn it on, let's start with the weekly reports you can see that your admin account is already added here. You can add more administrators that will be informed or more users that will get the reports via email. So we will use Adele to also be included. And one more thing which I want to highly recommend you, you can add Microsoft Teams as a space where the reporting will be displayed. The only thing you need is to generate the webhook URL for the channel in the Microsoft Teams. So let's switch for Microsoft Teams for a moment. So we are at the Teams application and we have dedicated IT team channel. If you will go to the possible options available for this channel, you will find something called connectors. And right in here, you can add incoming webhook. So do that and install this app. And now if you will go back there, you will see that you have additional connector available incoming webhook. Configure it and set up the name in here and create that kind of connection. Here you have dedicated URL that you need to copy and we will get back to the AFI backup platform and paste this URL to the webhook right in there. So we are back at our reporting for the AFI backup solution. We pasting our dedicated webhook URL in here and adding it. You can also test if this is working for you and communication is tested, we are good to go. Our backup solutions will be published via email to these specific users, plus we will get the reporting directly to Microsoft Teams. So getting back to your Microsoft Teams, you can see that this is the communication and reporting that you getting directly in here in Microsoft Teams. This will be super easy then to share that kind of information with the whole IT team or the support team. As we set up the reporting, now it's good to consider adding any possible additional administrators that will have the possibility to manage the backup. So let's add Adele one more time. Now Adele will have the permissions to be the administrator. Of course, she will get the invitation and she will need to log in to this application because this is external solution. And this is very basic admin 
setup that you need to do at the very first step. One more thing that is worth considering, if you will go to the protection, you will see all users, all components across Microsoft 365, but there's no SLA plan included in here. If you will go to the settings, this is the space where you can see how possible SLAs are configured from perspective of the backup solution. Which elements will be backupped, how often, and an element connected with the retention and archiving. In future videos, I will show you a few examples how to set up another SLAs, but this is very basic configuration that you can start with. And one more thing that is also worth consider, you can also extend the possibility to manage your backup solutions for the backup operators. So this will be the people that will not have full administrator rights, but you can give them additional permissions in case that some data need to be previewed inside the backup platform. So it's worth that this is additional element in here. There's also self-service, but this is something that we will cover in another video. As you can see, very basic setup of the AFI AI backup platform is very quick, very easy. You will need just few minutes to set it up and you can start to configure your backup in here. And if you want to try AFI AI for four weeks without any additional costs, visit office365adwork.com slash AFI, send the request and then set up the trial license exactly like on video. You can see set up in the AFI AI backup platform for your Microsoft 365 is not that difficult. You can do that just in a few minutes and then set up specific processes that will help you to meet the business or technical requirements for your organization. The one thing I would like to encourage you, just give it a try, test it for four weeks and see how this platform will fit into your expectation, test the performance and test the reliability of the solution and see how easy it will be to use that solution to implement the backup process for your organization. There's no commitment on your side, so if any point you will decide to cancel this process, just do it. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.